What up, YouTube? It's your boy, Detroit Love, with another video. Today, we're going to take a look at devices that allow you to control your arcade with your voice or with an app. So it makes it real convenient to turn your arcades on and off. So you've seen the uh, YouTube and Facebook folk turning their arcades off and on with the sound of their voice. It's very convenient. So today I'm going to showcase a few uh, items that I have and surely one of those would be adequate for what you want to do. There's a lot of ways to do it. It's a lot of different products. Uh, so we'll just take a look at a few. Now. I have this little Raspberry Pi 2 set up with this little monitor to emulate your arcade. And so the first product we're looking at is this, I'll just zoom out a little bit. This is a power strip and it has four separate outlets that all can be individually named. And it has a, a bank of four USB ports that can be turned on and off with a single command. And then the whole power strip itself can be turned off with a particular name. So in this case, I've called the, the power strip itself Carl's Arcade. Okay, so imagine you have this plugged into a wall and you have four of your arcade one up boxes plugged into the individual four power uh, sockets so the first one we'll just say that one's the street fighter so i can say turn off street fighter okay turning the street fighter off turn the street fighter on you got it, turning on the Street Fighter. The second one's called, I believe, Galaga. And I think it powers one of these LED lights here. So see that bar? Turn the marquee on. Sure, turning the marquee on. So you see that light bar is actually this, little, this yeah, second one. Yep, so I was right. Uh, this one is the last one and so this one's actually named golden tea at this point in time so uh the other one is the raspberry pi so this so this is actually the screen the one is called street fighter the, the raspberry pi is actually plugged into this third one and then this fourth one is called golden tea so we'll just pretend we're turning off the golden tea arcade turn the golden tea off Sure, turning off the golden tea. You see that? And so I can have all of them on. Turn the golden tea on. And, and again, remember the whole box itself is called Carl's Arcade. Turn Carl's Arcade off. Sure, turning Carl's Arcade off. So see how you can quickly turn off all of your machines, turn on or off individual ones so you don't always have to have all the machines on if you don't want to have all of them on. You can just say, hey, turn on uh, Pac-Man and just have that one on. Turn Pac-Man on. Sure, turning on the Pac-Man. And that's actually the Raspberry Pi over there. So you see that thing powered on right there. Turn Pac-Man off. Okay, turning off the Pac-Man. See there? So, again, these four sockets. The first one's called Street Fighter. The uh, second one's called Galaga. 
the third one's called Pac-Man. And the fourth one, or uh, it's, it's Galaga, but I changed the marquee, so it sort of thinks they'll go by either one, because one app knows it by the other. Uh, this one's Pac-Man, and that one's Golden T. So, turn Pac-Man on. Sure, turning on the Pac-Man. So again, I turned the Pi on. Turn Street Fighter on. Okay, turning the Street Fighter on. So that's the monitor. And with Google, you can combine commands. Sometimes it acts flaky, but for the most part it works. Uh, so if I say, so let's see what's left. We have Street Fighter on. We have Pac-Man on. So Golden T and Marquee are the two others. So let's try combining commands. Turn on the marquee and turn on golden T. You got it. Turning on the marquee. Okay, turning the golden T on. See there? So I was able to combine it without having to say them separately. Uh, so even though you may not want to say turn on Carl's arcade and turn all four machines on, you can say turn on Pac-Man and turn on Galaga. So that gives you a lot of flexibility. Uh, I think that gives you the most control over uh, a bank of arcade machines um, or individual arcade machines. Now I'm working with a single plug over in this area and that's why you got all these wires everywhere. But I'm going to, um, I'm still going to use the Carl's arcade, but I'm going to plug some different plugs in and let you see those in action. Okay, so uh, just one or uh, two things I omitted from this uh, Conoco power strip, smart power strip, is you see the bank of uh, four USB slots. You see that light is in there. Uh, that each four don't do not have individual control. You have control over all four at the same time. Uh, so if I say uh, turn off the USB, then it'll turn off all four of those. Turn off the USB. You got it. Turning the USB off. So all four of those are controlled. Now, just below that, you see those two red lights. Each, all four of those sockets have a red indicator LED that's on or off depending on if the power is to it or if it's turned off from it. So you see the second one, which I believe we call the marquee, is on. There's nothing plugged into it. Turn off the marquee. Sure, turning off the marquee. And you see the light just turned off for that. Okay, so let's move on to the next uh, type of smart plug. This one here, just unplug this light for a second. This is called a Martin Jerry Mini. And it's kind of compact. But in most cases, it's gonna it's gonna block a plug. Uh, you know, it's just only so small they can make these things, um, but it works pretty good. It has a light on the side that indicates whether the power is on or off to it. That is called cave string. Turn the cave string on. You got it. Turning on the cave string. So you see string. the light came on on the side to indicate that the power is going to that device. If I plug in my LED strip, you see the power is on. So I could turn it off by hitting the switch, the button there, or I can turn it off by telling Google or Alexa to uh, turn off the cave string is what it's called. So that works pretty simple, right? Turn the cave string off. You got it. Turning the cave string off. Okay. The next one is called a Wemo. It also has an LD, LED plug plugged into it. You see it's longer. So this, you can stack two of these on top of each other in a single wall strip or wall plate, outlet plate. They'll stack on top of each other, no problem, where two of those would not. 
uh, and it has the power indicator as well. In my scenario here, that Wemo is called Cave Rear. So if I turn on the Cave Rear, I was going to say, okay, so you see that light? That light came on to indicate that power is going to it. If I plug my device into it, you see the LED came on, no problem. Again, I can hit this button to turn it off or with voice. Now, I also have this cable in the link as well. Sometimes, like if I plug, I could plug two of these into that, that strip, but if I need to plug something longer like this into that uh, power strip, this, this Wemo would block both of those plugs. So an extender like this gives you the ability to, um, if you have a power strip and have limited plug and space in there, you can get by by having an extension like this. So again, this is called a Wemo, and it works with Alexa. All, all three of these work with Alexa and Google Home. So the last one that I want to sh show you is called Mexico, M-A-X-C-I-O. This one is an outdoor graded device. You can do use it indoor or outdoor, obviously, but I normally use this outside on my waterfall that I have. So it'll take two plugs and it works similar to, I'll see in this case, I don't think both these will plug in. So it's too tight. So what I will do is use this extension just so you can see So this works is similar to the way the power strip works where in that it has a name for the the block itself. Let me just move it back a little bit. So you see the shape of it. it has a right angle plug on it. Uh, and the two sockets have an individual name. So in this case, the entire uh, outlet is called what is it called this is called Mexico is called rear power turn the rear power on you got it turning on the rear power okay so you see it turned on both those LEDs which is plugged into the two individual sockets but they both also have separate names so one is called waterfall and the other one's called rear outlet so let's try one Turn off the rear outlet. Sure, turning off the rear outlet. Turn off waterfall. You got it, turning off the waterfall. And again, it has a button that you can override and click them on off as well. So, you know, sometimes you may have people sleep and you don't want to verbally say you know things out loud uh, you can turn these things on and off with the buttons so that's pretty neat so just a, a real quick recap and I know it's pretty messy here but I'm trying to get this done in a limited space we have the conical which has four four individual plugs that can each be named separate and controlled separately. The power strip by itself can have a fifth name which turns everything off, including the USB. Turn the USB on. So you see everything is on. Turning on the USB. So you see the lights. Now because the individual light here, which I think is Galaga or Marquee is still off, it remembers that that was off. Turn the marquee on. Okay, turning the marquee on. So you see that red light. So it so it remembers the last thing that you have. So you can individually control or as a or as a entirely uh, as a single unit. Turn Carl's arcade off. 
sure, turning off Carl's arcade. And see, you, you see that it turned off the USB as well as all four plugs. Now, I don't believe there's a way to turn that LED light off at all. That, that lets you know that you're able to turn that device on and off with your voice or with the app. All of these things have an app that you can do it as well with the app versus having to vocally vocalize. Uh, so that one is pretty cool because it controls a lot more devices in one. This one would be next where it allows you to, to power two things at one time with one command or each individual plugs separately. And all of these devices have the three prong. Kind of hard to see. Uh, let's get some light over here. Turn golden T on. Okay, turning on the golden T. Oh, well that was already on, but I need to also turn on. Turn on the cave string. Okay, turning the cave string on. Yes, because that's doubled up, right? So I'll just put the light down there so you can see. So you see the two plugs. They both have the three prongs. And I use this outside all year long. I use this for my waterfall in spring, summer, and fall. And then I use it for my Christmas Christmas lights in the, in the winter. So the Wemo. And that guy over there, the Jerry, the Jerry Martin. So those are the four options that you, that I, I personally use. And you can use, click on the links and you can see other brands and see other things. But these things all work pretty well. They all have pretty, these two pretty much have the same function, one device. Uh, or one power socket uh, uh, obviously you can plug a power strip into here and turn everything on the power strip on and off with it and that's typically what I have uh, for the arcade I have another one over there called the arcade and that will turn both those machines on now even if you use one you can still control multiple arcades with it so in my case here behind me I have one of these uh, Martin Jerry's that was called uh, I have one of these plugged into the wall it's called Martin Jerry mini and I have the Galaga power strip plugged into here and then because they sit right next to each other I have the power strip from the Street Fighter plugs into one of the open uh, outlets in the power strip of Galaga. That, make, that makes sense, so I'm um, chaining the power strips together. So the Street Fighter power strip plugs into the power strip of the Galaga, the Galaga plugs into the Jerry Martin Mini, and so when I say, hey, you know, keyword, turn on the arcade, it'll turn both on, but usually the Galaga is gonna have a head start on it because its power comes on and then it kicks the power into the Street Fighter. Uh, so these are just some options to consider when wanting to control your arcade. Do you want to control the whole power strip in one single command or do you want to uh, use one of these to power two different um, power strips for two different machines or do you want to have each machine if in this case if you have four machines have them all come on at once with one single command or turn any given combination or individual one on by itself so a lot of options to play with let me know what you guys think in the comments uh, do you feel uh, it's something that you would benefit from or do you just rather get up and go back there and, and flick the switch um, now, obviously, before I use the, my voice to turn these things on and off, I'm typically are going to hit the power switch 
on the front of the arcade so it shuts down properly with the script or I'm going to use the menus in the emulation station to shut down before I do these commands. Some people don't care. I typically am going to shut the device down properly before I kill the power. Alright guys, so I hope this helps you make some decisions on what uh, you may or may not be able to do. You see these, these are the LED lights that I'm going to use in my marquee. Uh, whether I build it myself or whether I use the ones uh, from the, the retro collector. So I'm still waiting on those, and uh, but I, I think I like the bar better than the um, the string lights. So I'll play with both of them. You'll be able to see both in action and see if uh, which one works the best. Just turn this back on. So I'll just give you a real quick peek at it. So that's the the bar and it has this little dial on it for I think 12 bucks man you can't beat this you can turn that up as bright as you want it to be good lord just blinded somebody or I can turn it all the way down uh, to as dim as I want so that is pretty cool and so this can be uh, most likely mounted at the top where my speaker is and I'll be able to control the marquee um, with this control box all right guys until next time I'll see you on the web okay guys you know the drill if you haven't subscribed please hit the button click the bell icon so you get notified when the next video comes out and like the video and make comments below what do you like what do you don't like? Are you thinking about doing this? You have no clue whether you will or not. Are you just happy with hitting the power switch? Let me know, man. Thanks for watching.